Hi, I'm Craig Phillips. Welcome to my tiling trade tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install large format tiles and outdoor slabs using the adjustable support pedestals known as the suspended system. The support pedestal consists of four separate pieces. This is the head, this is the base, and then the stem has the nut that threads up and down like this. So I'm gonna put them to the side for one minute. To start with, for the very first slab, I'm gonna place four of the base sections here I'm going to take my spirit level and I'm going to start at one point and make sure all three of them are actually level. Now again, of course, the floor doesn't have to be level here. If we get a starting point, we can rise that up and down. Checking that we've got that level there. Do the same on the opposite one there. And then the same on this one. I'm going to take out the four top pieces. These are going to be placed on the top here. Now if we look closely to these, we've got four little spaces. And what that will do is keep your tiles square and in line with one another. And it will also allow a 2.2 millimeter gap between them. So the four of them are now placed into position. I'll square them up to here. Now I'll take a first full slab, place this on the corners. Now the first one's always the hardest because once you've got a couple in position, they all hold each other quite sturdy and in line. So that, that feels quite stable on there now. I'm just going to double check with my spirit level. I should be perfectly level there, yep. And also that way. I'm now going to take that back off because I want to place a centre pedal still right in the middle. Place another stem in here. Now the headpiece for the centre is actually a flat one, which will also get placed into there because it doesn't need the little corner nodules that are standing up proud to stop the tile moving. It just needs to take the weight of the centre there. So the next stage is to put your spirit level back across here, which may have took it up a millimetre or half a millimetre. So again, hold that bottom little riser and turn that that's it so it's just perfect on there check it's the same on the other side perfect what we don't want to do is have anything kind of seesawing like this in any way so if you're happy you can now sit your first slab right back on top of there one double check yep perfect still perfect now that should be nice and steady and hold my weight some benefits of using adjustable support pedestals allows rainwater to run between and underneath the slabs this ensures that there's no standing water left on the surfaces improving health and safety by making surfaces less slippery in addition it also allows pipes cable ducts and drainage channels all to be tucked away underneath the slabs Ideal for roof terraces, patios and verandas. Adjustable support pedestals allows the slab tiles to be fitted right up to the threshold level on the roof decks and terraces without any risk of flooding. Structural movement is never an issue as the slabs and tiles are not fixed down with adhesive or grout so no cracks will appear. Now the pedestal headpiece is designed with four positioning lugs which are these here and they're set out in a cross format and the way that works is once it's in the stem on the base plate, 
it starts to form these perfect straight lines here. There's 2.2 millimeters gap in between there. And that sets it out nice and square and keeps it running in a straight line, no matter how big the actual area is that you're covering. You can also adjust the pedal sill height if needed just a fraction by hand. Once you put your spirit level on and the tiles or slabs are in position, you can simply move that thread around the stem, either up or down to tweak it a little bit if needed. So they're the basic tips on installing all your whole tiles or slabs around the area. But of course, you may have cuts along both ends. And it's very typical, like doing any tiling on a floor. You start in the centre, so you've got equal cuts either side, etc. However, if we're here now and we need to put half a cut in here, and our base plates have got our little nodules in here for in the very centre, what we do need to do is cut down these. There are some marks on the back of them here telling you where you can actually cut them down. So that'll be cut down, placed into position round about here if we've got about a 300 millimeter cut. Then the stem will be put into position. The top plate will also be put in position. Now your two half tiles cut here are going to want to sit on here and on here. So you will have to remove two of these little upstands from here and here to allow that half cut tile to sail through and still leaving you a little small gap on the back end of it just the way you would have in the joints between here at 2.2 millimeters. So that's how easy it is for you to install your large format tiles or slabs with the suspended system. If you're looking for more inspiration or how-to videos, follow us on all social media handles and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to know more about the products I've been using, just visit the website, tilemountain.co.uk.